Hello, in this CAD clip I'll show you a little trick I use once in a while uh, as a training prop. This is not really a uh, functional uh, Revit tool that I would suggest you use on a day-to-day -day basis because it's a, not a parametric tool, but I had a question on how I did what I did in a video, so I thought I would uh, show uh, you guys how I do this, and then you can apply this to maybe your own, you know, uh, work somehow so it's just really an, a lesson learned and then if you can appreciate this then you might use it otherwise doesn't matter I have a level one here and I want to have a little picture and picture over here of a 3d view or I could have anything I can import any image I want into a floor plan it could be a photograph it could be any image file okay so what I'm going to do is is copy and paste a 3d view of this um, to MS Paint and then take that and save it as a file and re-import it back inside of here. So this is what we do. We go to a 3D view of this particular building that I'm in. Now I happen to have the completed version of this uh, little um, building or prop that I've used. So the key here is to copy this entire image to the clipboard. I use Alt print screen from my keyboard. So right now on my keyboard I'm going to hit Alt print screen. That is now copied to the clipboard. Now I can go to MS Paint and I can say edit paste. Then I can take this image and I can use my selection okay and I'll just click on here grab all of this stuff and say edit copy then I'm going to make a new file file new save changes no now I'm going to say edit paste okay now I have that image and I can say file save as I can save it to my pictures I'm gonna make it a PNG file and I'll just call it 3d house save that that's done I can close this off back to my Revit okay I'm in a 3d view now I can go to my level one okay and I can import any image it just so happens I'm bringing in an image of this but I can go file and I can say import and I can bring in a CAD file but I'm just gonna bring in an image file okay and then I'm gonna go to my pictures let's go to my documents and then scroll down to my pictures 3d house okay open it and bring in that image, zoom out, take that, paste it over there, click out. Now I can take that and I can size it wherever I want. I can put it right on top of my building if I want to. Okay, you can get real tricky with this kind of stuff. So um, again, it could be any image, it doesn't matter. I just happen to be bringing in an image of this. I could bring in any image and you can do this in any view. I could be in an, I could be in an elevation view and I can do the same thing. I can just go, you know, file, and then import and I can go import an image as well so there's just a little trick on copying and pasting remember that the key here is do an alt print screen on the keyboard to copy this entire screen to the clipboard and then you go into MS paint paste it and then I crop what I want save that as its own file and then re-import it back into my Revit file